Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about the subject of, is it always good to have choices? Well, think about it this way. What if you were to go to a restaurant and they just had so many, so many, so many choices with uh, all these different dishes, all these different things that you can buy, uh, all, all that, these different drinks and all these things. Well, wouldn't it be overwhelming because you just have so many choices that you actually don't know how to choose? Well, I kind of look at the way that we live in our world nowadays is that we have so many choices from everything, be it from food, be it from cars that we drive, be it from cities that we want to live in, be it from clothes, be it from channels on televisions and shows to watch. There's just an overwhelmingly huge amount of choices. And we as human beings, when we are presented with so many different things, our brain kind of goes into overdrive mode. And think about it this way. As a kid, at least for me, I loved video games. And as a kid, I would really look forward to getting my new Nintendo game, my new Super Nintendo game and all that stuff. And it was just something that whatever game I would get, I would end up playing it over and over again and just enjoying it for months on end and when I would finish it I would play it over again especially being in Belgium because you could rent video games but that was later on in time in the beginning you couldn't so you'd be kind of stuck with whatever you had so even if the game wasn't that great you'd still be able to figure out something fun out of it and you'd just entertain yourself that way and same with uh, movies as kids, you'd get in, a, you'd tape it on VHS from TV or whatever it was, and I'd just watch it ten times, and I wouldn't get bored of it. I just love it because it was fun. And the thing is, is that now, with time, now we have Netflix. Now we have literally so many choices everywhere, especially with the advent of internet. Everything's streaming. Everything's available. Uh, games can even be gotten through Steam and all that stuff. So you don't even need to wait that long and some games are really cheap so you can just keep on getting a new game every day if you want to and that's the thing is that even though we have all these choices it's not necessarily better because you get overwhelmed by the amount of things that you can have and things that you can do so you're never happy and you actually might even go uh, ahead and just skip something that would have been amazing in the old times just because, well, you didn't really give it a chance. And I think that's the problem when we live in big or societies is that there's just such a huge amount of things to do, such a huge amount of ways to live life, such a huge amount of things to be done that we're not able to focus on one thing. And because we're not able to focus on that one thing, we tend to overlook it and actually make our life less good because we could be in a having all these streaming platforms and still be like, I don't know what to watch. There's just nothing to watch. It's there's, there's nothing to watch. And it's kind of like, again, it goes back to that feeling of too many choices is not a good thing sometimes it's better to have a narrowed amount of choices so that even the things that you may not want to give a chance to you give a chance to same as in a restaurant get a hundred different kind of dishes it's impossible to eat all of these dishes you have 10 choices you might be like huh okay let me try every single one of these I might not like 90% of them but I might find this really rare and special dish that I would have never had before and all of a sudden now I'm like wow this is the most amazing and most delicious dish I've ever had so that's basically my point is choices are good too many choices are bad but even if you have too many choices it's better to narrow them down so that you can actually at least give the chance of day give the time to 
the small little amount of number of choice that you've accepted so that you can actually not overlook and unfortunately miss on something that could have been amazing in your life. So that's it. That's all I have to say on the subject. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.